To begin, I want to share a quote with you by a musician called Jens Lekman, who's actually referring to a technique that he uses to make music, but I think it applies to collage in the visual arts as well. And he said, The beauty of the collage technique is that you're using sounds that have never met and were never supposed to meet. You introduce them to each other. At first, they're a bit shy, clumsy, staring at their shoes. But you can sense there's something there. So you cut and paste a little bit and by the end of the song you can spot them in the corner holding hands. The magic is in the mistakes, the scratches and dust from the vinyl record. The echo from something that happened a few bars ago and most importantly, the new context in which they are placed. The term collage comes from the French word that means gluing together. And it is an art technique in which basically the artist collects different clippings and pieces of pre-existing elements in order to create a brand new composition with them. The different elements can be pretty much anything. They can range from old pictures, newspaper, magazine clippings, even old artwork or fabric. The artist can put together pretty much anything he or she wants and create something completely new with all of these different things. There are two terms that you might have heard before that somewhat relate to the collage technique but are not the same thing. The photo montage is basically taking different pictures and specifically pictures. They can be a complete figure within a picture or parts of that figure, but basically they have to be pictures and you create a brand new image with them. And the assemblage requires you to collect different three-dimensional objects and combine them together to basically create a three-dimensional sculpture. And this can be anything, pieces of trash or any kind of object or pieces of object that are lying around. The collage technique was made famous by Cubist artists Georges Braque and Paolo Picasso in the early 20th century. There are so many reasons why I love to use collage myself and really recommend other artists to use it. Sometimes I create collages in between projects or in between larger pieces to burst through creative blocks or just to get inspired and play around. And other times I actually create a reference for myself for a larger piece. I find collage a very practical and easy way, taking supplies that you already probably have and exercising your knowledge of art fundamentals like compositional arrangement and shape, color, texture, etc. in order to create something new with almost no preparation at all. So most of the time, at least for me, I don't start with a plan. My collage happens almost organically. I start to get inspired as I am working and my mind just starts to connect all of these different ideas, which I find super cool. And because all of this starts happening naturally and subconsciously, you're sort of able to get to know yourself better. So it's almost like a therapy and at the same time you're able to get ideas for new work that is going to be more personal to you. Next, I'm going to be sharing with you the steps that I go through when I am creating my collages. The first step is going to be to decide whether you're going to be creating a digital or a traditional type collage. I personally do both. Depending on the type of collage that you're going to be doing, start preparing your supplies or your materials. For the digital type collage, you're going to need a digital device or a computer with a photo editing software like Photoshop. You're going to need a few different pictures either taken by yourself or pictures that you have taken from the internet that are high quality and that you have permission to use. If you're going for a traditional type collage, prepare whatever substrate you're going to be using, whether you're going to be using a cardboard or a piece of paper or canvas or pretty much anything. And also newspapers, magazines, old photos, pieces of fabric, cardboard, wrapping paper or mementos that you have laying around. Step number two is going to be to actually start creating your clippings or cutting around the figures that you think you might use for your collage. So start separating figures from backgrounds, start creating clippings of different textures, shapes and colors that get your attention that you might use. 
I recommend preparing at least 5 to 10 different elements so that you have things to play around with. And also another tip is to prepare different types of figures. So for example, think of patterns that you can use for maybe a background. Think of objects, think of human figure. Take different types of elements that you think you can create something interesting with. Step number three is going to be to be free and start playing around with all the different elements that you have prepared. Move them around. Place them on top of each other and see what comes up. Don't rush the process, don't start pasting anything yet. Leave the pasting until the very end, once you have made up your mind completely. At this point, just start playing around. And this is my most favorite part of the process. Think about what the composition that you're forming means to you why you picked certain elements, and start thinking in general about what your composition is going to transmit to the viewer. At this point in the process, I almost always start thinking about specific names to give my collage. This one that you're watching me work on right now, I named it Moon. And finally, step number four is going to be to paste everything together or bring everything together into one JPEG if you're doing it digitally. Give it a name and extra credit if you actually go ahead and create a drawing or a painting from it. Thank you so much for watching my video and visiting my channel. I hope that it inspired you to go and create some collage for yourself. If you found it interesting, go and check out my blog post that I wrote at my website ericalancaster.com related to this video. As always, I'll be leaving a lot of information and links down below about everything that I used to create this video and make sure to follow me on social media if you want to see what I'm up to on a daily basis. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you like this video, and I hope to see you back next week. Bye!